Hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to English in my way. Today our topic of discussion is going to be how can we learn English in 6 months without learning English grammar rules? Sounds cool, right? Okay. Now let's get on to the topic very quickly. So, there are total of four methods that will help you to learn English without learning or memorizing grammar rules. Of which the first two methods you would have heard from others, but three and four are likely to be out of my own experience. Even in one and two, I have included some tricks to make it more efficient. And yeah, these are methods that I followed in order to learn English. Trust me, these methods really work, and I wouldn't tell you if it didn't change my life. So, if it changed my life, I'm sure it will change yours too. And before we get started, I want to remind you that you cannot learn English if you do not have the commitment. Six months of commitment, you will become so fluent that you can talk English, walk English, drink English, and everything English. Okay. Also, these techniques will help you prepare for your IELTS exam. Now, let's get started. The first method is listening. listening to others in my last video i mentioned native english speakers learn english by listening as they grow up just like we learned our mother tongue so listening is one of the most efficient way of learning english you might ask how do you expect me to listen when people around me don't even speak english that's a very fair question and i understand so if you're not surrounded by people who speak english the following technique could help you so what is that technique the technique is so much fun that you will do it regularly so the technique is nothing but watch english movies or tv shows with subtitles remember with subtitles no songs please because the lyrics in the songs make no sense okay So I'm sure you must have heard of this technique many times through various sources but I'm not sure if you had the opportunity to practice this technique the way I will be explaining. Remember this technique activates two parts of your brain. One you are listening, the other you are reading. Okay? And reading the subtitles. This actually helps you to remember and learn vocabulary because when you just listen the word may just pass by. So, I will get further deep into this technique on how you can practically do this. How do we do this? First, you must select the type of movies that interest you. Some of you may like science fiction, some of you may like animation, some of you may like romance, etc. and etc. So, choose the type that you will enjoy, otherwise you will fall asleep. I tend to fall asleep if I don't like any movie. So, select the type of movie that you want to watch. Now before you start watching the movie you must have a notebook or a phone where you can make a note okay now start watching the movie and do not stress yourself in the beginning uh, in order to understand each and everything because you will lose interest let the movie uh, run for say like 15 minutes or 20 minutes by that time you would be deep into the flow of the movie so that's where you will start making progress After uh, let's say twenty minutes, you begin to pay attention to the subtitle while listening. Important while listening. Make sure you try and understand what is being conveyed. If something didn't make sense to you, pause and rewind and try to understand the context of the word or phrase or sentence. If it still didn't make sense or you find a particular word that's catchy uh, or attractive. make a note of that word or sentence and continue watching the movie do not bother finding the meaning in the middle of the movie as you will lose interest if you see the image here those are the words that are currently in my list that i have noted down while watching a movie or a series or i heard from someone at work or somewhere else evidence that i still do it okay one rule i I advise you to follow here this do not write more than 5 words or phrases or sentence during the initial phase that is the first month as it will it will not be efficient the reason i'm saying it is if you start writing everything that you didn't understand there are chances that you might 
fill your notebook in the very first movie because the english language used in the in movies are slightly above the normal standards so do not worry therefore i would recommend 5 is a good number to begin with you can increase the word count by one every month as you would be in the flow of learning and uh, you would have got an idea of what this technique is also remember you may not be able to read everything and listen everything in the very first movie you are watching you will struggle in the first few days and that is okay do not be hard on yourself and give up okay now you finished watching the movie and you made the note here is what you should do next Spend 15 minutes of your time to understand the notes you have made using a good dictionary. I agree it's a cardinal sin to mention dictionary in the age of Google and smartphone but hey remember a dictionary is always handy. I would recommend you to use a dictionary that translates to your vernacular language as it will help you understand and the words will instill in you forever. Okay another shortcut if you don't like to watch english movies but this is an effective alternate if you don't like to watch english movies that is you can choose a movie in your vernacular language that has subtitles remember it's very important it should have subtitle you see these days in netflix amazon prime you have tons of uh, native movies with subtitles by this way your learning can become much easier but my recommendation would be to watch english movies as that will improve your listening and reading skills and if you're preparing for your ielts exam just practice this technique you will excel without a doubt do not waste your money attending training classes now let's move on to the next method It is nothing but reading This is an another method I'm sure you would have heard from others. I'm going to tell you a way that this method can be effective. Talking about reading, you can read all you want, but it will make no point if you don't enjoy what you're reading. I've been reading textbooks for so long, but I don't enjoy reading that. So, choose the content. The content selection is an important criterion in reading. I recommend you start with short story book or magazine or newspaper. Novel is also advisable but not at the beginning stage as the level of language could be above standards in the most novels. Okay? Now that you selected the content that you want to read, you are going to start reading with full attention. If you are a beginner, you should start by reading one page with thorough understanding. If you are not understanding a word or a phrase or a sentence make sure you use the dictionary or google to find the meaning immediately as opposed to while watching movie After you find the meaning make sure you note it down in your notebook or phone Continue doing this until you are confident about your english Now that you've learned few new words how do you remember and make it lasting forever Let's discuss it in the next method which i'll continue in the next video so this completes our session and the next two methods will be explained in the next video as those are two unique methods and need needs detailed explanation so stay tuned hope you enjoyed watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell icon to receive immediate notification Thank you for watching and remember our channel is all about inspiring people to be confident have a wonderful day